the original question was, how do I do this artfully in the moment when I feel taken from or, or objectified or, right? And that is, I mean, we gave you one, one practice that works very well. <laughs> and it's just to literally tantrum. To, and the reason why it's so, I know this is technical, but when you do this, what are you doing? You're moving the energy down to the ground. You're moving the energy down to the ground. It's not rising up, it's going down to the ground, right? Then you're expressing your anger, right? If you, want to, if you really want to move the energy fast, bring your hands into it, right? And you're moving the energy down. I guarantee that if you sat and had a tantrum, you know, he would, if he said, oh, no, no, I just, I was just combining the two, and you went, <laughs> he'd be like, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he would, he would have. So you would have, you would have moved the energy, right, which is super important because if we don't move the energy, and I'm speaking particularly to women, but this is true for men too, if you don't move the energy in the moment that things get, that you get hurt, it commingles, it can't help but commingle with the past. Men do it too. I'm just talking to you guys because you brought the question. It commingles with our past and it becomes everybody and every time all the way back to parents or past lifetimes if you believe in that stuff. It's our karma, right? So when you tantrum, <laughs> never actually said this, throwing a tantrum will be a karma changing practice. <laughs> you want it? You want to change your karma, throw a tantrum. I mean, I'm being kind of serious here. Like, it, the, the, the moment that you shut down to the point where it becomes something you chew on for a long time, it's, it, it's impossible to, to, for it to have the purity of the insult or the injury in the moment. 